Hi, I'm Andy Moriarty. I'm a physical therapist with Foothill Sports Medicine at our Old Town Scottsdale location. I'm a specialist in treating disorders of the temporomandibular joint. We call those TMDs, as in temporomandibular dysfunctions. Previously, we used to refer to these as TMJ. We've changed that to be more accurate with what's going on in the joint. I'm one of two therapists in the state of Arizona certified as a CCTT, a Certified Cervical and Temporomandibular Therapist. We're a part of the American Academy of Orofacial Pain. As a CCTT, I sit on two committees, the first of which is our examination committee. I'm a member who helps to come up with and beta test future exam questions for applicants who are gonna sit for our exam. The second committee is the review committee, for which I help ensure that our existing CCTTs meet all requirements to maintain their certification. In addition to treating the TMDs, I also treat a variety of headache types. I'm also a member of two study clubs, one of which is local, which includes myself and several neurologists and orofacial pain specialists. Today we're going to discuss some of the things to expect at your first visit seeing a physical therapist for temporal mandibular dysfunctions. People typically come in as a result of headaches or ear fullness. They also have jaw pain or clicking. It also makes it difficult to speak. There's a frequent sleep dysfunction in addition to difficulty eating. When a new patient comes in on their first visit, they should expect to be seen by a physical therapist. We evaluate, we look at range of motion, we look at the flexibility. We also teach a lot of things for self-management, such as a home program, postural correction, and we also get involved in helping improve the mechanics of both the TMJ as well as the cervical spine. Classically, we refer to any d dysfunction of the, of the temporal mandibular joint as we call the TMJ. That's an archaic word because we have TMJs that are dysfunctional, we have TMJs that are normal. So we've moved away from calling it TMJ, we're now referring to it as t TMD, as in temporal mandibular dysfunction. Patients come in on their first day, it is evaluate and treat. The key word is treat. I, get, I take range of motion measurements, I assess the situation going on, I find out about what kind of habits they have that are bad and others that are good that I want to reinforce. I make sure to get measurements and I assess mobility, do uh, functional uh, assessment questionnaires. I get in and I treat the joint, I get things moving. First visit, I always instruct on a home program. I give them an ergonomic uh, handout so that I can maximize their sitting posture. And then I also give access to, uh, to myself by my personal cell number to all my patients. And so open, okay. So on the inside of the cheek, you've got this white line, okay, on both sides. So when you clench, you suck your cheek between your tooth line, yeah. okay? And that's called a buccal linea. So that's when people say, well, I don't know if I clench. That's how we know. We see the tongue scalloping and we see that line inside. Okay, open, close. Okay, so you have a click on both sides. I do. Yes, you do. Open. Okay. All right. Open, open. 40, 38. So normal is 42 to 48. Okay, okay, open, close. Put your lower jaw forward like a bulldog. There you go. Six, come back. Go this way. All right, eight, other way. And 10. All right, so normal range of motion would be four to one to one ratio. So if you can open about 40, you should be able to go forward 10, right to left 10. So you definitely have some joint restrictions there as well. Okay, any pain there? Mm, this is your superficial bit, yeah. masseter. Yeah, a little bit. How about here? It's no, a deep no. masseter. Okay. Here's the joint. That's the lateral aspect. Can you open? That's the back of it. Any tenderness there? No. Okay. How about here? A little bit. Yeah. yeah. Does this cause a headache as I hold it? It does. It does. Okay. Yeah. So this is the anterior temporalis. This is one of your muscles used to clench. How about back here? Oh yeah, a little bit. A little? Okay. Does that cause a headache? Mm-hmm. Okay. Do you typically have headaches? I do from like after I had the accident. Okay. I had like a huge concussion in my oh, spine. Oh gosh, yeah. Up. How about there? When was that accident? Um, last year, August. Okay, there. Sometimes patients see results immediately. Other times it's a gradual process. I typically describe the process where patients take one step forward, two steps forward, and then one step back. And then followed by two more forward. So it's an incremental gain. What I then do is, as visits go by, I will, I progress exercises at home. And so I have ex patients exercising here that I instruct more and more to do at home. And my goal initially is actually to get people have, to have better postural awareness. 